And the world would be a much better place if people could, you know, get out of their own head and try to see. Because, like, every one, so I was married before and our, our marriage fell apart and we went to therapy for a while. And one of the things that the therapist said to me that always stuck with me was, you know, we tend to expect other people to react to situations in the way that we would react, but you have to forget that everybody's different. Everybody has grown up with different life experiences. Everybody is, you know, chemically different in their brain, like different hormonal levels and stuff like that. So if somebody may do something that, you know, I, th- you know, I react this way, Um, that doesn't mean that the other person is going to react the same way. And that doesn't mean like they don't care or it's just, it's, you know, all of our reactions are built upon so many little nuances and different things. And I I just think it's like one of the the things that I think everybody would be a better person working on is looking at things from a different perspective. I think also people, when you can say something and Mm -hmm. someone hears something else. Yes. All the time. Cause they just hear something. It's like, and that's something like, you know, with this character, like, you know, there's subtle differences with, with Jennifer and with Daniel. Like, yeah, I push my hair, but like bad Daniel was left-handed and like good Daniel was right-handed and like Daniel, good, bad Daniel kind of Wait, did you up. really do that? Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't And then good Daniel's like standing up straight and like bad, da- good, you know, good Daniel's always like kind of has bad posture. Right. And bad Daniel. It's like, there's these little nuances that you add into these little characters. So that was that way, your idea? Yeah. And then did you also do that? Did that also help you differentiate between which character you were playing? Uh, like, was there like a brain, like yeah. left, right brain thing yeah. that you, okay. hundred percent. So it's like, I just, there's little nuances like that, you know, just someone who is like really into movies would right. be like, that's something, obviously I have the platform to talk about it. Right. But that's something that I feel like is such a subtle difference. Cause like there could have been, you know, you think of like a basic way of playing two different characters. It's mm-hmm. like, okay, I'm going to wear glasses here. I'm not going to wear glasses here. I'm going to, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm going to yeah. wear a blue shirt here and a red shirt here. I'm like, right. why change it that much? Right. You know what I mean? Because my energy as bad Daniel, you can tell that I'm a completely different guy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, and then with Jennifer and bad and good Jennifer, you can tell she's a completely different person. Right. Because the demeanor is completely different. Mm-hmm. The thoughts are different. The thoughts are the way we think, the way, and everything is based on our thoughts. Yeah. yeah. Before you say anything, you're thinking something. Right, right. You know, so, and that's also like, you know, credit to, you know, our, the acting coach that we got to work with together. It's like, it just added a new layer for me. Right. Of like, how to like, wow, okay, I can use this crazy brain to go through these things. Oh, oh, <laughs> now I just got all you now. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, you know, and it, it's, it's really cool. I'm like, you know, Bree's just so one of the most creative human beings, and like, you know, just when you're working with her too, she gives you that energy. Like I'm that way. Mm-hmm. Like she said, oh, like I would have worked another ten hours, and I don't care. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't think about that. Right. And and when when Angela's in a project, it's like the passion's there. It's yeah. like we don't like why are anybody's like what are you doing like. Like, you knew this is what we're doing. Yeah, it matters like, so you, much to have people you know, in your crew and in your cast who see things the way that you see. Because there's something worse than having, like, you know, I don't know. Yeah. People, when, when, are, when are we wrapping? What time? Uh, Nobody was what like time, that. No one was like what that. What time can I call? I got to call my Uber. Um, what time are we done? I have something after this. Everybody on the crew, yeah, the cast and crew, was entirely dedicated to this project. Yes. There was nobody complaining about time. Everybody was supportive. When Seth and I would be like, "Let's do one more take. Let's try it one more time. Let's try it. Let's try it from this angle." Everybody was supportive in in doing something again, even though obviously that's going to take more time. It's going to be right. longer on set. Right, right, right. It's like discussing moments. Like, yeah, we wanted to make every scene a moment. Yeah. It wasn't like. You know, you watch a lot of things mm-hmm. and you're like, wow, that was such a good moment. Mm-hmm. We want the whole movie to be a moment. Right. You know what I mean? We yeah. want the whole thing to just, you know, and to do that, you have to be there in that. Yeah. You can't be thinking about anything Yeah. out of the, the, the whatever, the circle of it. Yeah. So. Well, what it seems to me too, and having never worked on your crew or anything like that, but you seem to be very inclusive in like sharing, you know, awards and accolades with your crew. I've always noticed that whenever you win at industry award shows, you bring up like everybody in the crew, like everyone. So everyone gets to go on stage and share in that moment mm-hmm. of glory. And I think people really appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Well, to me, it's, it's not, it's, um, it's just the right thing to do. Right. Because, uh, the movie wouldn't be made without this sum of everybody coming together. And, mm-hmm. you know, it wouldn't, you know, look the way it does without our, 
our, uh, you know, uh, director of photography or without our uh, lighting um, and sound engineer, it would like it, it, everything, every piece is a really vital piece of the puzzle. Mm-hmm. So um, they deserve the recognition as much as, uh, as me in my mind. Yeah. All right. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.